Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Tamima Islam with the top news of the day. The number of people infected and dead due to COVID-19 is increasing worldwide as the deadly virus has spread to 204 countries and territories. But the situation of the United States is by far the most terrifying. The United States now has more coronavirus cases than any other country with close to 2,45,380 infections. The death toll in the country has exceeded more than 1,000 a day. France is in the devastating situation too. In the last 24 hours, Hours, a record number of 1,700 people died in the country. The situation in Spain and Italy is also critical. However, Saudi authorities have taken a tougher stance to prevent the spread of the coronavirus infection. Curfew issued in Makkah and Medina. The World Health Organization has called on Middle East countries to be more cautious in dealing with the ongoing crisis. Worldwide, the total number of infections has reached over 1 million. More than 54,000 have died from this disease. Five more people have been tested positive in Bangladesh for coronavirus in the last 24 hours, raising the total number of coronavirus cases in the country to 61. No new deaths from COVID-19 was confirmed across the country in the past 24 hours, keeping the toll death to at least six, while 26 people have recovered. Directorate General of Health Services DGHS disclosed the information in an online press briefing on Friday noon. In the last 24 hours, 513 samples have been collected across the country. Of these, 126 samples were tested by the IEDCR. Three samples tested outside the IEDCR were identified as positive. In addition, there are 82 people in isolation and 282 in institutional quarantines. In this online briefing, Health Minister Zaid Malik said the coronavirus test had started in several places in the country. However, he said that measures will be taken if hospitals and clinics do not provide treatment to six people. Two people, including a college student, died of fever and respiratory problems in Magura and Shatkira. A patient with isolation at Magura's Mohammedpur area died at Foridpur Medical College Hospital. The relatives said the person was suffering from fever and respiratory problems. He was admitted to Mohammedpur Health Complex on Thursday. He was admitted to Foridpur Medical College Hospital when the condition worsened overnight. He died on Friday morning. Civil Surgeon Pradeep Kumar Saha said the patient's samples have been collected and sent to IEDCR to find out if he was coronavirus infected. However, several houses, including his home, have been put under lockdown. A college student also died of fever and respiratory problems in Narayanpur village of Shatkira Shodhar Upajela. He died on Thursday night. Police restricted the movement of people to the college student's house. His samples were collected and sent to the IEDCR. A Navy man died in Meherpur due to fever, cough and severe pain. He died while undergoing treatment at Kushtia General Hospital on Thursday. Shortly after, the man's father-in-law's home was put under lockdown. Meanwhile, a woman has been kept in the isolation ward of Shohit Tajuddin Ahmed Medical College Hospital in Ghazipur on suspicion of coronavirus infection. Law enforcing members have stepped up efforts to prevent coronavirus community transmission across the country. The local administrations are in adamant position to keep people at home. Chittagong District Administration and Army have launched a joint operation to prevent the community transmission of coronavirus. Separate raids were conducted in different parts of the city from 9 a.m. on Friday. Local administration is working in the field to ensure social distance and home quarantine in Rongpur with the assistance of the army. They urge the people via loudspeaker to maintain social distance. Army and police are patrolling various kitchen markets and local bazaars in Hobigonj. During this time, some shopkeepers were fined for violating government restrictions and keeping shops open. On the other hand, army has strengthened their patrols in Natur to raise awareness and reduce public gathering in the city. An undeclared lockdown is taking place across the country to prevent the spread of coronavirus infection. In this situation, low-income people have become unemployed. In order to cope with the situation, these people were assisted by the government as well as various volunteers from different classes and professions. RAB8 provided food assistance to 686 
families of eight, eight, 11 districts in southwestern region, including 284 pirates of Shundarbans who surrendered. The Moiman Singh Metropolitan Chhatra League activists distributed food items in local Bedepulli of Maiman Singh. More than 200 unemployed families of Rani Hati Pardiyar and Nirala Guchogram of Shib Gonj Upajala of Chapainawab Gonj received 5 kg rice, 2 kg flattened rice, 1 kg puffed rice, 1 kg jaggery and 1 litre of oil. In Patwa Khali, BIWTA and RAB members distributed food among the poor and low-income people. The coronavirus outbreak impacted negatively on the business of Chattagram's Katunganj wholesale market. Onions, garlic, ginger are decomposed as there is no demand of the consumers. Chinese and Egyptian onions have become hard to sell for 10 taka a kg. In this situation, the shopkeepers fear the loss of several crores of money. On the other hand, Shiraj Gonj's dairy industry is under threat due to the impact of coronavirus outbreak. Dairy producers are in extreme danger of limiting milk collection. Those who used milk at the local level have stopped taking dairy products as shops remain shut. Because of this, the dairy producers are multiplying losses. Bangladesh cricket all-rounder Shakib Al Hassan announced on Friday that his Shakib Al Hassan Foundation will provide coronavirus testing kits to recognize hospitals and medical institutions in the coming days. Shakib said that he is looking forward to helping underprivileged families through his new initiative, the Shakib Al Hassan Foundation. Shakib on sa Saturday launched his own foundation called the Shakib Al Hassan Foundation, while Confidence Group have joined hands with the Shakib Al Hassan Foundation to launch Mission Save. Bangladesh. So far, Mission Save Bangladesh has received donations amounting to 38 lakh 64,000 taka from different private organizations and NGOs with which the initiative will be supporting more than 2,500 underprivileged families. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.